Anisha Star player. Got and Keeper of Water is always a good card. And he's relatively happy with his flop there. Yep. Seeing two uh, Prodigy of the Waves, a Solemn Scholar and a Library. Wow. Just doesn't start buying a Prodigy of the Waves with three fame. Passing. Interesting. So buys Brass Samurai. Okay. With one fate, I assume. Okay. No fate. No fate. So straight pass from Anish. <clears throat> so draw trigger should give him an honor I, or a card. I don't know. With a niche, with a niche passing there, I th might have been inclined to bring out the Kasha scale. Yes. Um, so I can't kind of tell. It looks like it's five and five. It is five versus five. <coughs> Do you want table audio? Sure. It's only in the one ear. Everybody's really loving this Goblin Sneak stuff. Goblin Sneak's a lot really good. I mean, I, I, when he has so much on, I don't know if this is the moment you do it. Really. Yeah. It feels a lot more impactful when they have, like, sorry yeah. if I'm raising my voice, but um, sounds a lot more impactful if they have two or one fate, because then it just, just card limitations are a lot less. Military Earth. Reveals Crossbitten. Yep. I would imagine defend with uh, Brass Samurai. Well, I mean, you're not necessarily. Well, maybe you're worried about the break here, but you may just want to get something with, uh, with the. No, but if you give away the earth, you can't attack. Oh, that's right. Sorry, you raised a very good point. Honor himself. Yep. Go up to four. Oops. <coughs> Chargers in. Oh, that's what he might have been thinking of. Woo! Oh. No thank you. Doesn't go away. It never, yeah. Okay. I wonder if this is the your deck where it's... Uh, it's Phoenix with wa uh, Lion Splash. It is. Uh, it is. I think he's playing the uh, Ancestor Strength version of this. So, I mean, to be fair, uh, not getting having the charge denied and getting the assassination off. It's, you're probably not uh, not too upset about that trade off. No, I think that's still fine. We'll see if he has. Uh, I would I would play it. Okay. I mean, he has another charge in hand, but chooses not to play it. Stuart of Law. Okay. That's bad to lose. Air is pretty good. Void, uh, fire is pretty good too. Are we are we back into Nisha's second conflict, or yeah. Justin still deciding if he? No. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, both players kind of pass, but. I'm confused. Oh, that's correct. I think both players always forgetting what Frostbitten does again. Yeah, I think they're just correcting the um, undefended honor loss from the first conflict. What? All right, three against six. Pretty good. 
And that's a good reason for not having played the Cautious Scout previously. But come on, Frost put some co you gotta Why not get rid of that? Oh my goodness. Remember. Why? Oh, it I'm hurts. I'm so triggered. It hurts. Yeah, the trigger is real. <coughs> No, no favor. I mean, yeah, he could have. Uh, oh, maybe, still. maybe, perhaps that Justin decided not to use Frostbitten Crossing so that he would not get hit by Clavemon. Could this be the better call? Uh, I mean, I still think the trade off's <laughs> worth it. I don't know. I'm just, yeah. I mean, the Cloud the Mine can just come later, right? Yeah. I, mean, I don't think we're going to see a ton of new cards in either player's deck here. We might see Justin running Taru. Fujiki. That's a big Cloud the Mine target. I would pass. I would pass, but. <sighs> All right. You getting triggered here somehow? I don't know. It's just maybe the the player in me is like, why would you just why would you play another character when you could just pass? But oh my, that's a big honor swing. One against five. Maybe Anish is confident with the rest of his cards, going to be able to win the rest of the game. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I mean, I always hate honoring something where it doesn't have impact. No, character. but it's always good to. I know um, you. You turn on your voice of honor. It's good, but yeah. Uh, you really like it to accomplish two things. True. Hmm. Where would you go? Go after the Forgotten Library. I think you might as well. Military. Really, water. <laughs> Void looks good. All right. Sure. I guess he's feeling a little bit nervous about the uh, honor. Oh. Clearly, that's not the province that's reliable because that's the one where the keeper of water came from. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. That's a good one. That's a good one to hit. <clears throat> yeah. And he should probably not let this go without a fight. No defenders. Okay. Unless, unless he's forgotten about what Kasha Scout does. We'll find out. You mean he still does have his charge? Oh, I think he might charge. <laughs> look at look at look at Ronnie. Uh, look at Justin immediately yeah. freaking out. Well, I mean, I, I mean, as a niche here, like that honoring of the political rival. Yeah. Like unless you're just thinking it's a bluff to make you stop. Um. Wow. So he uses display of power. Gonna steal another uh, fate from uh, Justin. I 
That really sucks. Water. So going with both the sneak and uh, the prodigy. It's just for a political, like uh, it's just for a courtier to be here. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm? Says two. What is zero? No, no. I would for shame the prodigy. Has not yet changed, so four to zero. <laughs> There's that four shame. Seems risky with. I, I don't, I'm not. I mean, I, I'm not thrilled with the dishonor. Oh. So plus two, another plus two. So gets the break. That really sucks. Uses the prodigy's ability to ready. Now note that there's no against the ways in Anisha's deck. He's playing charge as his restricted card. I think this is a big time when you go political fire. Covert the pro. Uh, covert he the doesn't have a lot of strength. Oh, you, for for uh, Justin, yeah. It's going to be a pretty big turn. No. <coughs> Coverting, hopefully, the scholar. Oh, come on. That's unfortunate. sucks but it happens like he knows he's gonna kill just admit defeat Stay, stay calm, stay calm, somehow. Our, our listeners are missing all the commentary that is obvious on your face. That is true. That is true. So, back to zero. 
Still good to break this now. Still good, but just the fan was unnecessary. This would be pretty annoying if uh, <coughs> runs into shameful display. <laughs> yep. Damn. Damn, I'm good. Oh, my. Oh. Okay. That's perfectly all right. Uh, all right. So, I mean, oh, what dishonored the other rival? Oh, please, yeah, shameful. All right. Just means he has a target for Kyle Delgate when the round ends. Justin got very lucky. Which is good. Maybe that's why he wasn't so worried about... Uh, Losing that. So it's eight to three. <laughs> it always seems like it's always a one sided bid every time. Yeah. No way. Like. Well, it's interesting with the design of some of the new duel duelists. They, uh, yes, that's right. That's right. They do have dashes <laughs> on their other trait, making it a little bit more difficult to kind of jump in on the opposite conflict when someone's. Like, so if you have a political duelist. They can't just jump on a military and get like someone with really weak political right. skill, which could you know really be a fix to get political uh, policy debate off the restricted list. If it was only playable in political conflicts, it probably wouldn't need to be restricted. That's right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Doesn't even use. <laughs> Forgot to use it. Yup. <laughs> oh. Did not use shameful display. That's okay. I mean, he's gonna get a guy on it anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. No, I know, but he, they could have both been on it. Yes, him. I know, I know. <laughs> wow, everybody's just being rules lawyers today, huh? <laughs> So, still no Imperial Favor, which means that Censure is still being a dead card. Justin is facing some honor pressure here, though. They, he's gonna yeah, but at least he got rid of the Forgotten Library. It's true. But these plus... Getting rid of the Hataru. Ooh, that's a good one. No. Not the best flop for a niche, but I mean, still I mean, keeper's a keeper. He'll take the keeper because he's got yeah. probably going to have two prodigies coming in. Or maybe not. And I, I feel like I just bring the other prodigy in and pass, but no, I you would you would want to try to diversify your, your shigenjins, like because usually with like supernatural storm you want more of like a wide number of shigenjins. Yeah, that's fine. So, but if you're only going to be bring, bringing in one, thing, you're going to bring in both characters. And Justin should pass after this turn is done. <laughs> oh, only one. What is? Ooh, that's dangerous. Yeah, there you go. There you go. So, two. I would say two or three, because you still need cards. I go three. I mean, at, at this point... If two he, and three. Damn, yeah. damn. At, at this point, 
I mean, it's it, it's hurting the niche now to draw so yeah. little. That that bid one that hurt pretty bad because since he lost the the library, yeah, the library, he can no, he he needs to catch up from the law. Yeah. So, but I mean, you know, he gets to play some cards twice. That's a bit of an advantage. Military water, maybe. Yeah, I mean, that's that's guarantee proc on the conflict. So it's a, you get a yeah. lot out of it here. Military water is pretty good because you just have to play like a rival. Exactly. And you get a keeper. I mean, there's nothing you can do about, like, un unless he somehow pulls out a win on the conflict, which seems pretty unlikely. <laughs> uh, I figured. I just, I don't know if I, w I, I think I would have invested more to make sure I get a break here. Okay. Uh-huh. Legion of One. Up to four strength. <clears throat> yeah, that's not bad. It's a break. Yeah, I forgot Legion of One. That definitely makes the solo attack a little easier. Things are not looking ideal for Justin here. Yeah, I mean, it sucks, but it, it is what it is. Um, like, now he cannot attack, otherwise he's going to lose in yet another province. Yeah. Like, okay. That makes sense, considering that he needs to catch up on his cards. Why, um... <laughs> I think that works. Yep. And a scholar. I don't know if you can see that one. Interesting choice. Birdie. Birdie. Two chargers are gone, though, so I'm not sure how likely we'll see him. So it'll just be discarded just yeah. to add a 6-6 six, six or something. so Or become 6-6. Six, six. So it's not that big of a deal. Yeah, I mean... He could even uh, use his box to play Wake Walking the Way again to even get it available for an Ancestor's Strength this turn. But yeah. So Prodigy easily wins that and untaps with this ability. I think he just wants to make sure he gets a break here. I don't think he can be stopped. 
Well, he can undercommit and potentially. I mean, he still has a project that can get up, one of them at least, so. Fate, one of them at least. <coughs> I know it's going to go so I would probably fate the one with fate <laughs> oh god I mean, it's rough, but... Yep. Faded. Yeah, why, why didn't he do the other way? The one that hadn't used his ability yet. I don't know. And he might as, yeah, like he might as well want to get the dishonor on the one that... some light at the end of the tunnel. That's why I didn't do the one that couldn't get back up. This does help even out the boards again. True. But here, like even just losing here and not being able to hold on to that political rival for one more turn hurts. Yeah, he chose to ready the wrong character. That really sucked. <laughs> he should have really ready the callous delegate. Yeah. does have a charge still left in his game. Right. Okay. So he does he does at least do this in the right order. So he should gain three honor here. Kalo Kalo Delegate dies first. Gives the political rival with that one. And then uh Anish does lose two. I must have got this honor number wrong. No, you're right. Oh for Anish you mean? Yeah. I mean, he looks like he's got some stuff stacked on top of each other. Yeah. So Anish chooses to take political favor. Sorry? Anish just took political favor? He did, yeah. <clears throat> I wonder. He kept. Did he? Sorry, he kept his bird. Yeah. Because he has charge in his hand. Oh, he has another. He has his third charge. Yeah, he has all three. All right. <clears throat> oh, after with his, all the drawing he's been doing, he's with all the draws. Yeah, I know. Damn, he's good. Uh, I'd buy a Kikita. Yeah, just buy Kikita with. Oh. You can only use it this phase, though, if he does that, right? Uh, 
They clear, cleared that up? They can't. He, he can't use it. Oh, you can only use it during conflict? That and the uh, the Ars Academy counts as if it's in your hand. So you cannot use the... You can't use it that way. But you can still play you eventually. Can use, you can use... No, you can't play it. Because it counts as if it's in your hand. Sure. Wait, what the heck just happened? Oh, three to one? <clears throat> That's not bad in assassination. I don't think he's played a copy yet. But six honor is pretty dangerous. Sucks because the niche does have censure in his hand, so I mean, you have to go Earth. <laughs> uh, I mean, a political conflict here is very willing, winnable here with Yoshi. going back quite a ways for the library. I mean, probably shouldn't. But our, it's up, it's their call. But we've already passed the case. I mean, that's not something I'm going to the table to change. Right. I mean, if Anish didn't allow Justin to use shameful display, why can't he use Forgotten Library there? It's for them to resolve. Okay. I don't know. It just doesn't seem... I know. Okay. Okay. I would still be on reproach. Okay. Well, I think he's going to use the fire. Like, he doesn't want to bother because he wants to get he the double hit off fire. You could uh, dishonor Takataka. Oh, that's true. You're a good point. And then Noble Sacrifice, right? Yep. I mean, sucks because Anish does have censure in his hand. Mm, right. Because from the pre. Still gonna throw the dishonor there. No. Oh. But yeah, how do you not take. How do you not go Earth? Because, like, he should have honored his own guy. Because now Sobion. <clears throat> yeah, because he really wants to use the Magistrate Station, but... Sentry comes out. <clears throat> yeah, but, yeah, with the Magistrate Station, you got to honor your own guys. sure it's three. One from Tadaka, yep. one from yep. Keeper, and you know, one from Felicity. That looks right. <laughs> Might as well defend. <laughs> Ooh. 
Uses a stronghold to bow to Daka. 2-2, two, two, still losing. Looks like uh, Anisha's playing something. Cloud the mine, it looks like. Really? Cloud the mine is an air, it. it's an air card, so it does yeah. trigger you on him. <coughs> I mean, I think I put it on Yoshi, like on the very unlikely in case it becomes meaningful. Yeah. Because now Anisha's probably going to do... Has it all. Not an entire whiff, but that's a key one. Gets a yeah, gets a supernatural storm, which is worth two. Still hasn't seen any of my ancestor strength. I don't, I don't I mean, unless he has some in his hand. No, I don't think I saw any. Not that he has anything particularly worthwhile in his discard at the moment. True. I think uh, the 3-3 three, three, Prodigy of the Waves is the biggest thing he has in his discard pile. Yeah, this... I mean, it is what it is. I mean, you could assassinate one of these, but... No, it's not worth it. I mean, Supernatural Storm. I mean, at least you force him to play it. Because then if he stops the Supernatural Storm trying to break this, then he needs to send another character to try to break it. Yeah. I, I, mean, huh. I, I guess it's just desperation time. We'll just let them go here. It's pretty crowded today, so climbing out of the broadcast booth to get to them is a pain in the ass. It is quite unfortunate. Now it's it's over, which is a shame, but at least if he attacks into the stronghold, we can switch the type so that he doesn't lose the prop the stronghold. Yeah. Which is not bad. No, he's got a turn, right? No, but he can oh, yeah. turn it into oh, yes. a right. political. Sorry, yeah, right, right. That's, yeah, that also is effective against charge. Yeah. I would go void, but that's okay. All right. At least there is... Wait. It goes home and bound, right? <laughs> Nino yeah, time. I re interrupt, but. Supernatural. Again, oh, not game. <laughs> 